the subject of sin is one that is very important and must be highly highly spoken of in all our churches across the world because the only thing that brings reproach to a nation the only thing that brings reproach to a people is sin on the other hand righteousness exalts a nation righteousness exalts a people and the promise of the bible the promise of the word of god is that you shall be exalted the reason why it is important to lay heavy emphasis on the subject of sin is that where sin is present the angels of the lord does not operate to bless they operate to bring nothing but conviction and judgment so the angels of the lord will try to speak to you to turn away from that sinful act that sinful behavior and in a situation where we become so adamant to the voice of the spirit of god we might face judgment not everybody has plenty time of grace not everybody has that time bible says shall we continue in sin that grace may abound and then he said god forbid the apostle said god forbid so there comes a time when you run out of grace and you begin to face the judgment of god as a sinner if you are lucky to still be alive you might make a u-turn and grace will shield you grace will save you for we are saved by grace we avoid sin like a plague but a lot of us still don't realize that we sin against god we still sin against god by failing to pray for others it is a ministry that every one of us have received the ministry of intercession the ministry of praying for one another from the old testament to the new testament you will agree with me that praying for one another is highly emphasized the apostles who received the gospel directly from jesus encouraged us throughout their writings throughout their epistles to pray for one another and failing to do this is disobedience to god because they spoke not of their own they spoke by the spirit of god so failing to do this is disobedience to god and disobedience is like the sin of witchcraft according to the bible so by kneeling there and praying only for ourselves forgetting to mention others in our prayers we are committing a sin that is equivalent to the sin of witchcraft and god frowns at it he wants us to pray for one another we all know that sin opens a doorway to the devil we all know that sin opens a channel through which demons comes in and begin to trouble us so many of us are being troubled today by unclean spirits and by devil himself because of doors we open how by committing sin of failing to pray for others when the revelation of what i'm preaching hit me many years ago i believe it was god giving me a reason to embrace my intercessory ministry my intercessory calling however i chose to stay any posture i chose to take whenever i'm in his presence i can spend hours praying for others and the reason is that while praying for you i pray with understanding that what i ask god to do for you can also happen in my own life this is the way it is and i will show you from the scripture to validate this statement that what you ask god to do for others can find expression in your own life a lot of us are committing sin against god by failing to pray for others without us realizing it samuel said moreover as for me god forbid that i should sin against the lord in ceasing to pray for you moreover god forbid samuel said god forbid that i should sin against god by failing to pray for you you see it becomes clear from the tests of the scripture that failing to pray for others is a sin